So, I made a hardcore role in the Caves and Cliffs update. Pretty cool, right? Subscribe, comment, I subscribe in the comment section if you want to turn this into a series. Otherwise, you're watching the first and the last episode of this supposed to be series. My goal in this episode is to get a fortune diamond pickaxe with mending if possible. So watch till the end of the video to see whether I got it or not within 20 days. I spawned close to a village like really close. I got a ton of food from hay bales and I went gang wood from a bridge forest nearby. Demolish a house and get some basic stone tools. I hope the villagers aren't mad. I mined more hay bales and started luring cows into a small farm. Then I wanted to build a small simple house so I chopped more trees and built one. Then I learned even more cows and it took a while because some of them got stuck. But once they are free, I quickly bred the cows before going to sleep. Like I said, I want a fortune PX so I'm trying to get one. I went finding sugar canes on day 2 for paper which can be crafted into books, then bookshelves and an enchanting table. I also found coal which will be so useful for the next day. I swear and gathered like 32 sugar canes in the end. While I was exploring, I found 4 cows so I did what I have to do. I killed them. Anyways, when I got home, I didn't have a bucket so I had to extend the water that is already inside the farm. Then baby cows escaped. They outsmarted me. I tried getting them back but the other one didn't and I just left it outside. Let it be free the other stay. I also patched up the area so no baby cows are going to escape again. Then I planted my sugar canes and extended the war way through the road and for the second time, I hope the villagers aren't mad. Sugar canes and cows were done, so it's just mining for diamonds. That's what I did. I mined a long tunnel and found a good amount of iron and coal. When I got back up to the surface, I heard baby cow herd sounds. I didn't bother to take a look, so I just let it be. When I was back mining, I found lapis, which will be so useful for enchanting, because you need lapis to enchant. I went back up to the surface and slept. Now even though it looked like I'm going to get fortune successfully, it's not actually that easy. According to Google, it takes an average 18 minutes or almost an entire Minecraft day for a single sugarcane plant to grow. I also need to find 5 diamonds to obtain the enchanting table and the diamond pickaxe. Start the day by mining! How fun! Also, my day counter is telling me that I'm on day 3. It's because the day counter starts on day 0, not day 1, just if anyone's wondering. Anyways, after mining a bit, I found a ravine but then I didn't want to explore it for now or I might die. I went back out to the surface and smelted my iron. I went to the forest to get some wood for a double chest and harvested sugar canes and also expanding the farm. Then I bred my cows and then went back strip mining. After a bit of strip mining, I mined into a cave but not just any normal cave. It had a lot of iron. This was what I needed. After exploring a bit, I didn't find any diamonds though. I had back to the surface and slept. I went mining again on this day. Actually, before I did that, I smelled my iron and food. With full iron, I was confident enough. I went down to the ravine and there was an amethyst geode. I don't know how rare it is, but I think it is rare. I collected some blocks and went back to the iron cave and explored even more. After exploring, there was another Y11 cave and I also explored and after yoinking every iron, copper and lapis I see, I stumbled across Lola. diamonds. There are only two though, and I needed a diamond pickaxe. Diamond is actually quite rare in this world. I went back up to the surface as the sun rises up from the horizon. I deposited all my items back into the bank chest and harvest sugar canes. I think I harvested those sugar canes on day 6, not day 5. I also started more cows for leather, and one thing about this, don't sweep attack or cows won't drop leather. So if I am going to build a max stock enchanting table, I need a foundation. My house is not going to fit a 5x5 five five thing, so I built one close to my house. I once thought and now I think I'll call this home. So I went to the forest and mine, no, chopped trees. Then I built the enchanting tournament building. Again I went to the forest cause I ran out of food and continued building. I gave it a little bit of a design but I'll stick to it for now. I also placed bookshelves on a crafting table. That night, I don't know what I was doing. I ran around the village and eventually returned home and slept.
I went down to the mines on day 7. I also added stairs from the bottom of the mine to the top so now it's easier to leave or enter the mines. Then I stripped mine and I wasn't lucky. No diamonds but a ton of other ores. Still I need 3 diamonds for a diamond pickaxe to my obsidian for the enchanting table. After my stone pickaxes and one of my iron pickaxe broke, I went back up to the surface and harvested sugar canes. Get wood, craft, and place bookshelves. I continued mining and this time I didn't only strip mine, I also zigzag mine. I also almost died from lava. While zigzag mining, I found two small ravines. I don't even know that it could exist. It's just so small. Most like Minecraft didn't want to generate a lot of huge ravines. I also mined through an amethyst geo that I explored a few days ago. Then I mined into a cave which actually has dripstone blocks and pointed dripstone. So I mined them and continued mining on day 9. I explored much of the cave and I found this water stream. Wait, do you see that? There were diamonds and I completely missed it. Luckily there were redstone that I mined, because of that, I was able to see that little shiny blue spark inside the war and it was diamonds. All this mining paid off and there were 6 diamonds, more than enough for the enchanting table. If it wasn't for those redstone, I wouldn't have found those diamonds. Anyways, I went back home and organized my inventory, not my chest. Then I crafted the pickaxe and went back to the mines to mine obsidian. I wanted 14 of them, 4 for the table and 10 for the nether portal. Look at the pickaxe mining obsidian very, very slowly. It took a while but after I got all the obby I need, I crafted the enchanting table and placed it in the foundation. I also added a bit of a design tweak and then I built the nether portal. I decorated it with cobbled deep slate. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Then I made shears and got wool. Why you might ask? Cause meet Billy, my roommate or you can say a housemate. Yeah that's strange. He's been with me since I placed that bed. We finally reached day double digits. I moved the sugarcane farm on day 10. The sugarcane farm was messy and disorganized so I have to move it somewhere. I ran around like a weirdo to find a nice area. Then I planted the new farm. With my two buckets, I have infinite water. I planted sugarcanes and once it is big enough, I extended the path to the farm. Then I noticed I have seeds in my chest and I never planted them until day 10. I planted seeds on a layer above the sugarcane farm and now we have a wheat farm. So I said by the time I finish planting the seeds, and then I go with bed with Billy. Day 11. On this day, I went to the nether for the first time in this world. The spawn wasn't too good, but also not too bad. It's an open space meaning gas attacks are common, which happen. While I was attacking the gas, my friend Mr. Piglin was bartering with me. I slayed the gas and got a gas tear from that. Then I said hi to Mr. Bricklin and he gave me so many crying obsidian. I think my friend is sad but I mine nearby gold nuggets and kept bartering with him. 10 crying obsidians. Alright, he said. Then I built a trading outpost at night for the villagers and I lured the villagers into it the next day. Next day. I learned a villager and turned me into a Fletcher. If you don't know, a Fletcher can trade you 32 sticks for 1 emerald, which is very cheap and can ruin the villager economy. So there you go. Then I went and killed more cows for leather. The enchanting table is about to get maxed out. Then I chop even more wood in the forest for emeralds. The Fletcher is actually very useful. I went to get even more wood for the bookshelves and by the end of the day, I needed 3 more bookshelves to max out the table. I ran out of wheat, so I just explored the unknown lands close to the village. Then I found cows so I slayed them because I already have a farm. Then I saw a little obsidian pillar in the distance Turns out it's a ruined portal. There was a ruined portal this close to the village and I didn't even see it. Great! Anyways the loot wasn't that bad at all. 
Then I harvested wheat from the village farm. Don't worry, villagers. I'm here to help the community farm. Even though I stole every hay bales in your village. Then I returned home and breed the cows. Then I planted the other 26 seeds and um, a zombie breached into the farm. So I had to kill it. It made two crops turn to dirt, so I just fixed it and went to bed. Day 14. I extended the light save. No monsters. Super safe zone. And now it's pretty huge. Then I breed the cows and kill them. How many times should I say that? Anyways, I saw that I have enough leather for the last bookshelf. I was able to make a maxed out enchanting table. I crafted the books, went getting wood again, and crafted the last bookshelf and placed it. I didn't enchant the pickaxe, but the axe. It now has efficiency 4 and fortune 3. I needed more levels, so I went to the nether to mine quartz. Some of the villagers were curious to see what this hellish dimension looked like, so they joined me. It took me a while. Wait a minute. Do you see that? It's a nether fortress. So this is a speedrunner seed, but you are watching a hardcore video, not a speedrunning video. So I didn't want to enter it, as I will definitely die with this gear. After mining a bit, I also bartered with my friend Mr. Picklin, and he was kind enough to give me iron boots with soul speed too. Then I returned to the overworld and enchanted my pickaxe. Look at this, I'm breaking free. I just traded it and boom, fortune free, efficiency 4, and I'm breaking free. Then I went to bed again. On day 15, I tested out my new pickaxe. I also made an anvil cause one enchantment is needed for this pickaxe to be stacked. Well, two of them, but one of them is mending. Yes, you heard that right, mending. I'm in a village, I can trade villagers for mending. So I did that, and after a minute of trying to get this one villager to trust me that everything is alright, and nothing to worry about, turns out he's my roommate. Not Billy though, I don't know where's Billy. Maybe he's in the nether. I hope he doesn't sleep there. So because Billy's gone, meet Gary! I crafted a boat hoping when Gary wakes up, it will be in the boat where I can transport him to the market. It's day 16. I continue transporting him because he didn't want to be with the boat. Then I got stuck on one single pixel. Yes, one single pixel between the path block and the grass block. So I had to do the same thing again. It took me a while but the villager finally got into its stall. I don't know how to describe it but I'll just call it a place where villagers are trapped to force trade with me. Or a stall. The villager kept scamming me with very useless trades like Curse of Vanishing for a lot of emeralds. But finally he gives me mending for 14 emeralds. Then, I mined a lot of wood to get mending. I slayed more of my cows and got leather for books, then the mending. Thanks Gary and the other guy who I randomly chose. Then, I enchanted my pickaxe with mending and named it Pick. I'm not a really good namer, am I? Then I went mining, hmm, chopping more wood for another mending and you guessed it, it's for the axe. It was already night. So I just went harvesting wheat to breed my cows, then of course I slayed them, got enough leather, craft a book, mending, enchant, name it Ace, sounds cool isn't it? Ace. I slept, and there you go. I got the fortune pick and a diamond axe, both enchanted with the rare enchantment mending within 20 days. Subscribe and like for part 2, also I read all your comments, whatever it is, a compliment, an advice, saying hi, or why do you just end episode 1 on day 16 and not continue it to, oh, I don't know, day 100? And yes, I read them all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in a brand new video. Peace!